I'm meteorologist John Dawson. This is the Fox 26 YouTube tropical forecast that daily briefing where we keep you up to date on what's happening and things haven't changed a whole lot out in the Atlantic, but what we've been watching in the Caribbean has definitely uh, become a little bit uh, more. Ex the, it's not more organized yet, but the expectations have definitely grown that we could begin to see something moving into the Gulf of Mexico and sort of having a little bit of an impact on us here in Southeast Texas. This is going to be mostly a rain event that we're talking about, so that's not to mean that flooding isn't a problem, but we're not looking for any sort of a major windstorm that's coming our direction. So we're just sort of getting that out to begin with. But I don't want you to completely lose touch with us over the weekend. Make sure that you're checking in uh, at Saturday and Sunday in the afternoon after 4 p.m. when you get a chance to get the latest on what's going to be happening for us in Houston, mainly on Monday and Tuesday. So we're talking about an area of far western Caribbean. Uh, it was been it was sort of over by Honduras for a while, now beginning to move closer up into the Yucatan Peninsula. And this area that the National Hurricane Center is continuing to kind of keep an eye on a little bit is really not going to do anything thing for another day or so. But as we get into Sunday, that's when we're expecting this to move into this part of the Gulf of Mexico. So once it gets into here, that's when these numbers really become a little bit more of an interest uh, right now. Again, a 70% chance. And at the moment, the Hurricane Center really feels this could become a tropical depression and mostly become a, a rainmaker. I have trouble seeing why it wouldn't go ahead and get enough organization to go ahead and become a tropical storm. Uh, not a strong one, but at least enough of that winds and that closed circulations that it could become a tropical storm. So at this point, I would expect to have a tropical storm in the Gulf of Mexico by the end of the weekend. And then I do still feel that it will continue to move as far as the center of the storm into Mexico, not making it up to the to the Texas coastline, but a lot of rain will be headed up towards the Texas coast and specifically the Houston area. So we're going to look at that in just a moment, but I just want to update you on the other sort of area of interest because it's a little bit of a race to see what uh, which of these two areas will get named first because way out in the Atlantic, actually on the coast of Africa. There's another spot that is expected to move out and possibly develop, also having a 70% chance for development within the next five days. And so, like I said, it's a little bit of a race to see which would develop first. And I think this one is a little bit more favorable, just to tell you the truth. Uh, so we'll see exactly how that goes and what name will be associated with it. And we'll look at that a little bit later on. But let's take a look at the impacts in the Houston area as we move through the weekend. If you're not in the Houston area, we're glad you're watching, but we just need to kind of take care of the folks here at home for just a minute. Uh, first of all, as I roll through the future cast, you'll notice uh, not a lot is expected to happen through Sunday. I'm pausing about 630 in the in the evening. Yes, we're looking for some rain, but this is at less than an inch more like less than half an inch as there would be some lighter rains late in the weekend. But once we get into Sunday night, now notice how all of a sudden our rain totals start adding up quite a bit. We're not going to get too pinpointed on exactly these amounts and where they are. For example, this model here showing that uh, Brazoria County uh, looking and Galveston County looking like the highest amounts. It really could be anywhere along the coast and for sure could reach into Interstate 10 as well when we're looking at four to six inches of rain, isolated areas even eight to nine, eight to ten. This is through Tuesday evening. So if we get enough breaks and rounds of in the rain, then this won't create too much of a problem, more of an isolated situation. But if, if we don't have any breaks in the rain, just keeps continuing on and on, then definitely these rainfall totals could cause some problems. Most of this of starting up on, on Monday morning early and running through Tuesday is kind of the time frame that we're looking at on that. So again, here's the area down to the south that we're keeping an eye on. Not expecting anything over the next couple days here in Houston. It will actually be a, a fantastic looking weekend, especially Saturday and most of Sunday. Quick look at Larry, still a hurricane, uh, 80 mile an hour winds at the moment. Forecast continues to take it to the north, accelerates a little bit, making a little bit of interaction there with land, uh, but it'll fall apart quite quickly uh, as it does. So again, not really a, much of an impact in the United States for sure. When we take a look at today's date, September the 10th, we always identify this as the classic 
climatological peak of hurricane season, when this is the date when it's most likely to see something spinning out there in the, the, tri in the Atlantic Basin, where, where we look at the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico, and the Atlantic Ocean. So this is the peak. So yes, we begin to see less activity as we move through. There are plenty of powerful storms that have historically taken place after this date. But this is sort of a, a big deal here in the hurricane world as we're continuing to see uh, what we'll look for as far as less numbers as we go through. We talked about names for just a little bit. Nicholas is the next name on the list. So depending on which of those areas uh, gets to that naming status first, if they do, uh, Nicholas will be next. And then Odette is the next name uh, that we will have uh, on the list as we move through. So those are the next couple that we're looking for. Glad you found us on, on YouTube. You can search meteorology. Just John Dawson on YouTube as well. I have a channel here. I have my hurricane gear tests are primarily what I post. Uh, but of course, if you want to connect with me on other social media at John Dawson Fox 26, we'll definitely keep you updated on Twitter and Facebook. A little bit more fun happening on Instagram, but we definitely will. Ho well, hopefully we won't have to send out too many tweets uh, about flooding, but that's something that's definitely a possibility on Monday and Tuesday. And of course, the Fox 26 weather app, that's going to be the quickest way, the best way for you to stay connected through the weekend and for sure once we get into Monday and Tuesday and see how much rain is going to find its way into Houston.